Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the standard equations of a parabola when the vertex is at the origin. So in this video we're going to look at when we have a parabola that opens up or down, and then also when we have one that opens left or right, because they use two different equations. The equations are very similar, we just switch x and y, but we're going to take a look at the differences. So first off we'll start off with a parabola that opens up or down, and when we have this we're going to have a vertical axis of symmetry, which in this case will be x equals zero because our vertex is at the origin. So we have our parabola in purple, we have our focus, our vertex, and our directrix. So for our focus, it's 0 comma p, and our directrix is y equals negative p, because remember the directrix and the focus are the same distance away from the parabola. So when our parabola is going to open up is when p is greater than 0. So if we look at our equation up here, we have y equals 1 fourth p, 1 over 4p times x squared. So if p is greater than 0, we're going to have some kind of positive number, and so it's going to be 1 over that fraction is going to be positive, so our parabola is going to open up. So now for our parabola that opens down, the only difference there is p is negative. So that's going to give us you know, y equals negative fraction x squared because we multiplied by a negative for p. So our focus, our directrix, our vertex, all still the same, right? 0 comma p, y equals negative p, and the vertex is still at the origin. So let's take a look at when we have a sideways, you know, a parabola that opens left or right. So now we know these parabolas are not functions, but we can still write an equation of the parabola. So we have a horizontal axis of symmetry, and that would be y equals zero, that'd be our x-axis. And we have our equation up here in the box would be x equals one over four p times y squared. So if you notice the difference, the only thing we did there was we switched x and y when we had a parabola that opens up or down or left and right. So now we look at our parabola, our directrix and our focus are a little bit different because now our focus is p comma zero, right? We have an x value now um, and our y value would be zero. And our directrix is now a vertical line, so it would be x equals negative p. And if p is greater than zero, our parabola is going to open to the right. And over here on the right side of the screen, if, our, if p is less than zero, so if we have a negative value, then our parabola is gonna open to the left, okay? But the focus is still p comma zero and the directrix is still x equals negative p. So we're gonna do one example of each. So the first one we have negative four x is equal to y squared. We want to identify the focus, the directrix, the axis of symmetry, and we want to also graph the equation. So first off, let's write this in our standard equation form. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide this by negative four. So we're gonna get, uh, not y, we're gonna get x equals negative one fourth, y squared. Okay, so let's fix that y a little bit. There we go, y squared. So there's our equation, okay? And so now if we think about our equation for our parabola that opens left and right, we know it's gonna open left or right because we have x equals. We have a negative in here, so we know our parabola is going to open to the left because p is less than zero, okay? So our original equation, we have one over four p. Okay, so what did we plug in for p here for us to have negative one over four? Well, we plugged in negative one, right? So p is negative one. And so that tells us a couple things. Our focus is going to be negative one comma zero. So we can plot that, negative one, zero. That means our directrix is going to be x equals opposite of p, so x equals one. So we can go ahead and graph that our directrix here, and our axis of symmetry we know is going to be our um, x-axis, y equals zero, okay? <clears throat> All right, so now we wanna draw our graph. And so what we've done, we, we have a table of values down here where we're gonna plug in actually some y values because it's gonna be easier to s simplify or solve when we're plugging in a y value. Okay, so we're gonna start with zero and we are plugging these values into the equation we have in the box right here. So if we plug in zero, zero squared is zero times negative one fourth would be zero, right? So there is our vertex. We have zero comma zero. And now we're gonna plug in um, positive and negative one because we're gonna square those. So it's actually gonna give us two points, right? So if we multiply this by one, we're gonna get negative 0 0.25, which would be negative one fourth. And so we'll plot these a little bit here. So we have uh, one negative, sorry, these are our, um, our y values, right? So we have negative 0 0.25 positive one and negative 0 0.25 negative one. So negative 0 0.25, we'll say about halfway here 
and our y value is 1. So about here and about right there. Okay. Now when we plug in 2, we're going to get an, a value of negative 1. So we're going to do negative 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2. All right, and then for positive and negative 3, we're going to get negative 2.25. So that's negative 2.25, positive 3 would be about right here, and negative 3 would be about right there. And then for positive and negative 4, we're going to get a negative 4 value for x. So we have negative 4, 4, and we have negative 4, negative 4. So now let's draw our parabola in here, see if I can get it to stick, good. And now let me adjust this so that it kind of fits our points as, as good as possible. Okay, all right, not too bad right there. So we'll draw our arrows on the end and we have graphed our parabola. So notice it opens to the left. We have our focus right there and we have our directrix right there. So our focus will be negative one zero and our directrix is x equals one because we had that x equals equation, our parabola opens to the left, okay? All right, so now let's look at the next example. We have y equals, so we know now this parabola is either gonna open up or down, and it's negative one over 12 x squared. Once again, we wanna identify the focus, the directrix, the axis of symmetry, and then we wanna draw our graph. So if we think about the standard equation, y equals one over four p x squared, we went from that to y equals negative one over 12 x squared. So what did we, what did we plug in for p for our equation to become negative one over 12? Well, we plugged in negative three, right? So p is negative three. And so now that tells us a couple of things. We can use that for our focus. Our focus is going to be zero, negative three, and our directrix will be y equals the opposite of negative three or y equals positive three, okay? All right, and so now our axis of symmetry still working with the origin here. Um, our, our vertex is still at the origin. Our parabola is gonna open up or down. So our axis of symmetry is going to be x is equal to zero, okay? And so now what we can do is go ahead and graph our parabola. And we went ahead and put in some x values here. So this is our equation that we're using and we're just gonna plug some values in for x, right? So we're gonna start with zero because obviously that's gonna give us our vertex. And so let's plot our focus would be zero, negative three. So we'll say that's the focus. And then our directrix up here at y equals three. So our directrix y equals three, okay? So we know our parabola is gonna look something like that. So let's go ahead and plug in some values to see what we get, okay? So if we plug in positive and negative two, we can do this in our calculator real quick. Positive and negative two, that's gonna give us a negative one third, okay? So positive two, and we have a negative one third. So let's say pretty much right there on that, uh, on that number there, positive and negative two. Positive and negative three, we had a negative three fourths. So positive three, negative three fourths, about right there. And negative three, negative three fourths, about right there. For positive and negative four, we had negative one and one third. So negative one and one third, and about right there. Okay, and then for positive and negative six, we have negative three. So six, negative three, and negative six, negative three. So here's our parabola. We'll draw it in here, see if we can get it to line up. That's actually really good. And we'll draw our arrows on the end for that one. Okay, so kind of just going over what we did there. We had y equals, so we knew it was gonna either open up or down. We had a negative in there, negative one over 12, so we knew it opened down. We had um, our p value is negative three, so our focus gives us zero, negative three, and our directrix y equals three. Vertex is at the origin, so our axis of symmetry is still x equals zero. So we did one example where our graph opens up, and one example where our graph, or up or down, and then one example where our graph opened to the side. All right, and that's how you can write the standard equation of a parabola. <laughs>